Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute. I have been out here, you know, being a mom. So I have not been making a video, I have not been making videos as often or frequent as I normally have but I wanted to just slide on into my YouTube world and give a new DIY I did because I really have been trying to do more stuff on my silhouette cameo 3 I have it over here as you can see along with um a steam press so I can put things on shirts and stuff. So since I got my little babies and I'm like trying to be the whole mom that got everyone in the same kind of shirts and, you know, do all that kind of stuff. I really wanted to um, dive more into vinyl, but it's like a lot expensive <laughs> and I'm like trying to catch it on sale and stuff. But I have so much um, heat and bond and stuff like that. So I'm like, hmm, it has to be a way that I can be a little bit more creative with this vinyl stuff or just clothing decal, I guess is what they call it. So I'm showing you guys this really easy, simple, I don't know why nobody has ever thought of this kind of DIY because you literally can make any type of clothing decal you can think of with wrapping paper. Like you're like, what? But real life, you can use wrapping paper and heat and bond to make any decal for your clothes and it will stay. You can wash it, you can whatever you want to do, it will stay. Now, you will have to use the um, heat and bond that is the extra strength one, I guess is what it calls, the one that has the red um, little packaging, not the light. You have to get the extra whole one. So um, let's just dive on into this video. I hope you all are having a, a beautiful day. It is now Sunday, so my Monday is starting up and I'm just trying to get into the groove, you know, trying to get into the mood to get my week started. Plus, I have some great news I'm going to be sharing soon about my channel. I'm going to be diving into a huge, 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 huge risky situation but I feel like hey you either go hard or go home and you can't just live your life always being safe so let's get into this video hope you guys like it thumbs up subscribe whatever 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 talk to you guys soon okay so I did not show the process of doing this for the gold that you saw in the picture so I'm just going to show you the beginning steps to actually get to actually applying it on your shirt i am using some pink wrapping paper from dollar tree it is such a pretty color and i was going to use it for my daughter's shirts um i basically was going to do some kind of a design where it will cover like half of the shirt you know how you see those shirts it says like supreme and it's like all of like vinyl and then it has like the white of the shirt in in the supreme words that was my idea when I was doing this for a different one. I never actually executed it, but that's why it's so big. Typically, when you're going to make when you're going to do this project, you're going to just cut out what you're going to use and that's about it because you have to do so many other steps. Not so many, but when you're taking the the um paper off of the back you'll get what I'm saying later on in the video it's much easier to have a smaller area than a humongous area to try to get that off so now that you have cut out the paper you're going to get your heat and bond vinyl and this is how I don't know how they make actual vinyl but in my mind it's like this is how they make vinyl they just get some vinyl and they make color and then they just put something on the back that's sticky and voila you got vinyl so you're getting your um, vinyl cut out to the size of your wrapping paper and um, it is best to try to make the vinyl a bit smaller than the wrapping paper I did not do that so I had to do an extra step of cutting all around because I didn't think about it in the moment literally I am like recording as I was like trying this out before I even got to the goal actual decal for my shirt so a lot of stuff that you're going to see me doing was me actually doing it just experimenting and documenting it um, but yes you want to try to cut out the vinyl to be smaller than the actual piece of paper so that you're not one wasting vinyl which is not expensive but I would rather waste Dollar Tree paper than heat and bond vinyl um, this is a paper backing on the vinyl so you're going to peel off the vinyl it's a little tricky 
take your time like you see me doing like I'm literally like in stealth mode trying to get this off you can also use an exacto knife to like separate it but I just figured it out with my fingernails and you know you're going to pull, peel it off now here's a tip when you are taking off the backing from the vinyl do it like this because what I did before I had it in the air and it just flung around and it started touching my clothes and you got lint on the vinyl because it's so sticky anything that the vinyl touch will be on the actual vinyl and you can try to get it off but if you apply it to something especially something that's white it's going to show so I just decided to lay it down flat and then place the wrapping paper over it and then just smooth it all out so I can make sure nothing no lint no no bad air no nothing is touching the vinyl so then I had got a scraper to affix the paper to the vinyl to remove all bubbles you don't want any bubbles because again you're going to be um, basically fusing these two together um, and if you have bubbles it's going to be a problem and an issue so this is where I'm going to cut everything out on the sides um, so that you know we can get it into the heat so it can fuse um, I am using a steam press I got from Amazon um, I will link what I use in the description box because I was not about to be buying a heat and press when it's big and bulky and I don't like how it looks so I rather just purchase this this um, steam press so that you know if one day I need to I need to I need to press some clothes I can go press some clothes and I can still do my DIYs look at that I'm using one thing for multiple situations so now that that's all cut out we're gonna go to my heat my steam press so my steam press is on cotton setting you can do linen I think linen is much better because I realized it was too hot once I was doing this again I'm doing this as I am recording and you only need to have it on there for a couple seconds and with the um, steam press you would actually hear a beep when it's on there too long um, and the top part is the only part that's hot the bottom part is not which is why you see my hand down there but um, yeah you want to use that paper backing that you took the vinyl off and put the shiny side over top of the vinyl and apply the heat from the steam press on the paper side so that you can peel it off and you know go around the entire piece of paper and this is why I say it's better to have it the size you're going to use because I just took so much time doing this whole piece and I didn't even need the whole piece right that's crazy so here is the part where you have to apply your heat and bond and this is going to be the agent you use to stick it to stick it to your clothes and now I'm using the gold piece because now I was like oh let me just record this because it's going to be such a cute shirt and you know I just bypassed all the other steps initially so yeah you're going to cut it out to the size of your gold again try to cut it smaller than the piece of paper because you do not want this to melt under anything that you're going to be using now, if you have an iron that you don't care about then you just do what you want to do but I just feel like it's so much better because you want to again save product um, heat and bond isn't really expensive but you don't want to be wasting it and then you can um, fuse these two together so if you do overcut you, you need to do this like I'm doing right now to save your machine now this is how it works if you're not familiar there is a paper backing as well on the um, ultra hold um, heat and bond and this is how it will look when you peel it back but I'm not peeling it all off you're going to put it right back on the back but this was a, a bad step so do not take it off because when I apply it onto my mat to cut it out with my cameo it came up because I separated the back from the actual um vinyl part so here goes my shirt from Dollar Tree and I am applying it by hand because as I stated when I was cutting it out it came off because I separated the paper from the actual vinyl part versus leaving it on so that I can just take it off with my scraper or whatever I was going to use it to get it off of there right so put it on there any way you like and then you're going to get that paper um, backing again apply the heat now with this side you're going to keep it on there a bit longer I did multiple 
passes under the heat because I do not want this to come off at all because it's glue I want to make sure it is getting the maximum heat okay I want all the heat to be on there so do as many passes as you want um, again you gotta you know make sure that you're not peeling it off when it's hot you have to let it get cool first so that it will not come off when you peel the paper off and look at that beautiful Dollar Tree contact, I'm sorry, contact paper, Dollar Tree wrapping paper and some heat and bond. And it's so lightweight. It's so lightweight, guys. But thank you for watching. You know, give me a like, thumbs up, comment, whatever. Have a good one, everyone.